from the hood, nigga, I will bag you. Back three, back three, back four. Yes, man, it really is me. Me is all, aka the instant burner, man. And in today's episode, man, I know a lot of y'all have been having trouble, man, when it comes to cor corrupted players, man, on 2K, man. Making you sick, man. You spend all your money on your corrupted player, and he's corrupted. Well, today I'm going to give you three words. Just like you've seen in the thumbnail, I'm going to give you three ways on how you can fix corrupted players. And this works on any game. Any game this works on, not just 2K. But before we get started, man, I need y'all to hit that like, man. It really helps out the channel. But this is what you want to do, man. This is the first way. This is the first way you should try out, man. Let me go ahead and go to it. You want you want to go... <clears throat> You want to go to your settings. Then you want to go to your system, not system storage, your application save data. You're going to want to have to close the game out. And you want to go to save data online storage. You have to have PlayStation Plus for this to work. If you don't have PlayStation Plus, you're going to have to do the other two ways that I show you. But this is the very first way you should do. You should download to your system. If you have a corrupted my player, if you have a corrupted my player, you need to find where your my player is wherever your my player is that's where you need to find you need to find where you created your player you see i created my player my first play i created him on 916 i don't have to do this because my my player is not corrupted but this is what you would do you know what i'm saying so he has your tattoos and everything so you have to go right here then you would just press download you would just download this right here then go back into the game and your player should be fixed he should be fixed just just remember what what day you made that player on that's all you have to do that's the first way the second way that you would have to do man if, if you don't have playstation plus or this does not work i can't do it i can't show you it on this thing on this in this video because i would have to close the whole video but this is what you're gonna have to do just listen to what i'm saying you have to cut off the whole game you gotta cut off the whole game after you cut off the game after you shut it down you're gonna press your power button Keep the button in. Keep it in until you hear two beeps. Two beeps. After that second beep, it should start up. Your system is going to start up. It's going to tell you to plug in your controller. You're going to have to plug in your controller. After you plug in your controller, you're going to want to go down. You're going to want to go down until you get to uh, rebuild your database. It should be option five. It's going to be rebuild your database. It's not going to delete anything. Do not do not think it's going to delete anything. It's, it's, it's a safe mode. It's a safe mode. Rebuild database you're gonna press that after you do that man it's gonna load up you know what i'm saying it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna pretty much defrag and get any snags out of your system you know what i'm saying if you have a snag or something that, that's corrupting your data it's gonna find that snag and fix the data for you you know what i'm saying so you're gonna go to that and it's gonna rebuild it's gonna rebuild everything you know what i'm saying then the game is gonna start up start up normal no it's not gonna delete anything just like i said then all you gotta do is just go back into the game and your players should be fixed or whatever or whatever or corrupt the data whatever whatever you're doing whatever game you, you're um, talking to i mean you're you're going into i can't talk today and the third thing if that does not work these two should work man nine times time, nine times out of ten these two things will work but if that does not work what you're gonna have to do man you're gonna have to go to your technical support for your game i know with 2k i'm gonna leave that in the description but they have this problem a lot the corrupted files they have that a lot so it's one of the frequently asked questions so i'm gonna leave that in the comment section just go to that man just fill out a complaint bro i mean just fill out a uh yeah pretty much a complaint and they will reply man in a day or two it's very very quick those three ways man should have your player back man or whatever whatever game you're playing but if this really helped y'all out y'all make sure to hit that like if you're new man please don't forget to subscribe man i got a lot of great content coming in the future and y'all already know who this is it is your boy mizzle